afternoon baseball here on the show ought to be a good one here between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. Digging in, DJ LeMayhew, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. A very comfortable afternoon for baseball. 61 degrees, our game time temperature. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's this is hit high and deep out to left. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Starting second, the first baseman, Luke Voigt. At the plate, Luke Voigt had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Payoff pitch one more time. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with that's nobody third. out. The center fielder, Aaron Hicks. In now, Aaron Hicks. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. In the air now, out to right field. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. The tag, and he is out at the plate. So much for our first run of the ball game. In now, Clint Frazier. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Now the one and one pitch. Hard hit ball to second. On to second for the force out and the side is retired. Settling in now, Alex Verdugo. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Fastball just inside. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the Back. inning. The third baseman. So one away here with the bases empty. And that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. And another foul ball. And it's fouled away. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Here's J.D. Martinez. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Outside with the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. Back-to-back -back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is set in a tone pound in the zone. Fouled away. Struck him out. So he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Lifetime against Martin Perez. He's 0 for 5. Now the 2-1. Bouncer up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. That is good. The right field. Mike to the plate Talk. now. Mike Talkman breaks his bat as this one's popped up. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Coming to the plate now, Gary Sanchez. 
And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. The 2-2. Two -two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Another 2-2 two -two offering. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Now to the plate, Brett Gardner. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Bradley is there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. So it's first and second with two men gone. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. The set and the 1-1. One -one. him up. Bogarts is there for it. And that's the third out. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. He was the winner of the AL Silver Slugger Award at shortstop a season ago. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. The one two. Grounded to first. But that finds its way through for a base hit. Running hard, he's digging for second. And the Red Sox have something going. It's a leadoff double. So now to the plate, Christian Vasquez. Hit hard toward the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. In at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Into the box, Michael Chavis. Too high that time, and it's three and one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gardner going back, still ranging back. And it's gone into the monster seats. At the plate now, Jackie Bradley Jr. And that misses two and one. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way. And he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now he needs to think about this hitter. Skied into straightaway right. Tuckman moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Standing in, Bobby Dalbeck. He'll get to take his first Bobby. cuts here. Go back. The 1-1 one, one home. Three runs already home here. Grounded back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Stepping in now, Jose Peraza lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Oh, 
one. This is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Now batting, right field. Riding in once again, Alex Verdugo. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-1. One, one. Misses for the second ball. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now, and he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being as efficient on the mound as he'd like. The 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Fouled off. A runner on first with two away. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Leading off the inning, D.J. LeMayhew, and they'll need him to get something going here. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key. Hit high and deep, carrying towards the corner, and this will wind up a foul ball. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around. It's strike three. At the plate, Luke Voigt. He reached on a single in his first try. Now the one and one pitch. One out, nobody on. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Aaron Hicks waits on deck. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. And he fouls this one off. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the switch hitter Aaron Hicks. Into the corner and slicing foul. Two out, nobody on. Drill down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now look out as that pitch sends him tumbling to the ground. Three and two to the Yankee center fielder. Drilled to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Rafael Devers. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. To two balls and two strikes now. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. The 2 2. And it's fouled away. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. Three and two, the count for Rafael Devers. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home the half of the third. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already, and there's one gone in the inning. One gone here in the Boston third. And that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. Pitch is mishandled behind the plate and it bounces away. And he'll make it in easily at second, as I'd imagine that'll be scored a passed ball. 
nip the corner. Two and two. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Grounded up the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit hard on the ground to second. Well, Mayhew's got it. And he'll whip this one over to first. And he gets his man for the second out. Now at the plate, Christian Vasquez. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at-bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A-B. The one-two. Yeah, swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Clint Frazier. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-1 home. Hit the other way out toward right field. Playable for Verdugo, and there's one gone. Digging in now for the Yankees, Labor Torres. He singled his last time up. All even now, two and two. Here it comes. Ball three. Three and two now. A swing and a ground ball to third. And just past his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. The batter, the right fielder, Mike Talk At the plate, Mike Talkman. High in the air out to center field. Bradley is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. So two are gone now in the now Yankee that. half of the fourth. The and the next to bat, the Gary. Dominican born catcher, Gary Sanchez. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Misses ball two. The two two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Michael Chavis. Going back to that last A.B., that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. Now so the base is empty fielder. here with one away. Jackie and in to hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter, Jackie Bradley Jr. Jr. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Now back, first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. To the plate now, Bobby Dahlbeck. Two and one to the Red Sox first baseman. Great game plan so far by this offense. They're not chasing any of those breaking going. balls out of the zone. Strike taken, the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. Two two fly ball out to straightaway right. Tuckman is there two down. 
So two gone now here in the Red Sox fourth. And digging into bat next, it'll be Jose Peraza. A 1 1 home is swung on and missed for strike number two. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. Out of play. The one two. At the ball. Bradley stands at second with two gone. Full count to Jose Barrazo. Well, I think this is the kind of approach they need against such a prolific starter. You can't count on putting up a lot of runs, so getting him out of the game has to be the priority. Working at bats, full counts, running up the pitch. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Brett Gardner. Pitch is popped up. Devers in foul ground. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And that'll now bring that up Miguel Andujar. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Andujar. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The one two. Is swung on and missed strike three. Here's the second baseman DJ LeMayhew. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. The one two. I got to count two and two. anticipated here's a ground ball now to the right side and that's the first out so the bases are empty with one man gone and that brings up the third baseman Rafael Devers from the windup the 1 1 pitch bases are empty one man out he's fallen behind now three and one J.D. Martinez waits on deck. Popped him up. Sanchez over to his right. Two gone. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. A couple of strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. And that'll get down for a two out single. The batter, number two, Good stop. Xander. Into the box now, Bogart. Xander Bogarts. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Two and two. Three runs, six hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Ready for another shot now. Luke Voigt. He's one for two in the ballgame. Struck him out, so he set down on strikes for the second time today. Now at the now plate, bad. Aaron Hicks. He was a ground out victim Aaron last time up. Hicks. And he looks at one in there, one and two. 
Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Digging in once again, Clint Frazier, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. The 1-1. One -one. Popped him up. Dahlbeck is there, and the side is retired. Number 73 gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Number 73. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and now it'll be the catcher, Christian Vasquez. The 2 1 home. Now that's popped up, and Duhar is under it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. So here's Michael Chavis now. He went down on strikes last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Three and two now. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Hicks going back, and it's gone as they add still another. Standing in now, Jackie Bradley Jr. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Torres has a play. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. At the plate, Bobby Dahlbeck, one for two in the ball game thus far. Bobby Dahlbeck. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Hicks retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop, Torres. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And he missed with it up and in to even things at two and two. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. Full count now, three and two. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Nope. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man right aboard here. to start the seventh. Right. It's ball four. Talk. He's set. Here's the three and two. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. Liner towards second. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman, but he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Ryan Brazier comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Gary Sanchez will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. The 2-1 home is a fastball down below the knees. On oh, a good pitch there as he had him fooled badly, and it's a full count now, three and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit changeup, or do you stay with the heater? And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Digging in, Brett Gardner. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Oh, and a huge strikeout there as he certainly does his job out of the pen. And we'll see how they go after the next guy here. Here's Miguel Andujar now. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. And here's a slider for a called strike, and he's behind one and two now. 
with runners on base, two outs and two strikes. This is a big next pitch for both sides. Two and two the count. High and deep to right center. Bradley on the run. But he can't get there and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule now double. That's a big so now to the plate, DJ LeMayhew. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. Fastball well outside. The 2 2 pitch. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw will be well laid as he reaches it first. And that'll score the run from third. And don't look now, but the lead's now cut to two here. Robinson Layer will get the ball here as he looks to get the final out in the top of the seventh. At the plate now, Luke Voigt. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Hard hit ball to short. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Jose Peraza. The 1 1. This one's down to third. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And a good try to recover that time, but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning. The right fielder, number 99. Alex. Into the box, Alex Verdugo. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. Throw over to first, and he's back in standing. Seventh inning here at the ballpark. 4-2 our score. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Fouled away. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so... He can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Torres has it, and there's one away. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. Now He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And he misses 2 and 1. Now a throw over, and the runner back easily. And again a throw, and a dive, but he's back. The 2-1 home is laid off of for ball number three. J.D. Martinez waits on deck full count now Runner, runner, runners runner. on the move for second still hanging with him another good swing to keep it going and a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away so it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. And this pitch misses for ball four, so that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He was sat down on strikes in his last at-bat. Line to the right side, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Digging in the switch hitter, Aaron Hicks. Not providing much out of the three hold in this one. Hitless in three at bats so far. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. It bangs off the billboard, and it's out of here. 
Austin Bryce please. is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Number 31. Austin. Stepping in now, Clint Frazier. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play, so the count goes to two and two now. And now pitch on the way. Drilled to the left side. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. In now, Torres. Strike two taken. A fastball that clips the inside black. Ground ball right side. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Mike To Blake now. Mike Talkman. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? On to first to complete the double play. So stepping in, Gary Sanchez, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And from the on-deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The one-two. Fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Next up for the Red Sox, Michael Chavis. Two home runs already to his name in this one, and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Just hung in there on that one. The two two one more time. Back up the middle. To first, and there were two down. Ready once again, Jackie Bradley Jr. He flew out in his last at bat. Bradley Jr. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Four three, our score here as we play the eight. Sky down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's 3-2 and two now. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And here comes the first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. little too much bite on the slider that time taken outside yanked the slider across that time laid off for a ball good spot for an RBI put the ball in play with the runner in motion he could score all the way from first Torres scoops it up throw on to first and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over
Matt Barnes takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. All set to start the ninth in this one, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Brett Gardner. The 1 1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Hit to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself. One gone here in the ninth. Into the box now, Miguel Andujar. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's the 1-1. One, one. We got two balls, one strike. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Bradley is there now, and he has it, two gone. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. It's been a two-for-four effort for him so far in the ballgame. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Now this crowd of 36,000-plus come to their feet. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And this should do it. Chavis is there. Makes the catch, and the ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. A one-run finish, 4-3, to three, the final tally today. The Boston Red Sox took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Martin Perez earns the victory on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ballgame for the victorious Boston Red Sox. Four runs on eight hits. No error, but they left seven men on base. For the Yankees, three runs on nine hits. One error, they left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and four minutes. Our paid attendance at Fenway Park this afternoon, 37,755. The Red Sox and Yankees, thank you.